Hello? My name is uh, Eric Rooney, and I'm gonna show you one of the spaces I tend here in, uh, that I tend to here in Colorado. So let's check it out. Got all sorts of purple, purple cauliflower going on in here. This used to all be grass and um, in our movement towards something a bit more sustainable, we tarped it off, killed the grass and um, are planting food and other medicinal things that we can use for plant me uh, medicine therapies and um, different other really beautiful things. So we've got some lavenders in here. We're experimenting with kind of what's taking well. Um, which are these lavenders you can see and we just recently plugged off or plugged in some more that unfortunately didn't make it uh, during the winter so this is this this row is new these are red hot pokers which are a really cool flower um they're a low water plant and we're gonna use the blooms on these but also for landscaping um some of our areas which are a little bit wa uh, less water intensive so these are fruit trees. Uh, these are fruit trees, not ours. Uh, we work with different city organizations, Denver Urban Gardens in particular, um, and we are supporting them and caring for some of their fruit trees in their uh, edible or food forest program. Hydrangeas and nine bark. This is not irrigated. We have water rights here at the farm. And um, so we just put in a sprinkler and it comes from Clear Creek in Colorado. And that's how this is irrigated over here. These videos can be really long, but for intents and purposes, and for this mini introduction to Half Moon Farm, here we are in this beautiful space. We grow vegetables and flowers. We're getting our first flush of roses. They're very small because it's been cold and rainy. So um, by the second or third flush of roses, these will be much bigger. Fruit trees. We've got plum, cherry, peaches, apricot, um, and all sorts of citrus that live inside this greenhouse during the winter, which is heated. Those are the dogs. The poppy, Dutch poppy. This is lots of medicines, um, things that are low water intensive. They don't need very much water to survive. And this is the greenhouse. We got our resident snake. She wanted to show off. There she is. <laughs> She's laying out. Um, but this is where we keep a lot of our tropical plants in the winter it's heated and then we've got a in the ground basin uh, or in the ground planting around the frame which allows this nasturtium to get so big the community area this is where we um you know do just that we allow the allow and gather with the community had all sorts of celebrations of life and living and, and death here. These are the farm dogs, the maple and fern. Hey girls. Um, recent hail damage. So this area transfo transforms quite often, um, but this is where we are most of the time. so much rain that it's of course so green this is an arid desert our climate is that of a desert we're very very dry here and uh, usually both the air and in moisture measurements and um, this year we've set records some of our kale cauliflower broccoli and um, this is kind of a view looking back at the farm Got lots of things coming up in here. Everything from marigold to zinnias. Um, 
sea hollies and scabiosas, dahlias, cosmos, eucalyptus, peonies, roses. We've got fruit trees and um, all sorts of berries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. Some of my favorite apples, Macintosh, Honeycrisp, Red Delicious. So that's a short rundown of the farm. We are not even one acre, we are 0.95 here at Half Moon Farm.